Good afternoon. Welcome family, friends, and teachers. I want to thank the teachers and also my friends who stood beside me through my ups and downs. I want to start off by thanking Ms. Primo. <laughs> she does everything for our middle school hallway. I can name a million things about Ms. Primo. Let's first talk about her bossy daughter, who loves telling everyone in class what to do. Ms. Primo is like a dream working woman. She makes everything happen. She makes sure everyone, or me specifically, okay, whether with my brother or with me being out of uniform. Sorry again, Ms. Primo. She made my eighth grade year the best, and she always has a bright, beautiful smile on her face. I also want to thank Ms. Smith. <laughs> she is the one who always says, uh-uh, don't do that, or don't say shut up. Ms. Smith is like a person who always believes in me, even when I don't. Not even when I don't, in myself. She always cheers me up with a, you got this, don't overthink, or don't give up. I used to walk into her class and look at the board and say, oh my God, this is going to be hard. But when she shows me, she makes it similar than a six-step problem. She has always been there for me, and I was so excited to be in her home this year. Now, please, let's not forget about Mr. Don't ever wash his grips off. If you still didn't get it, it's Mr. Kraft. Mr. Kraft is the most brilliant teacher ever. One thing about Mr. Kraft is that he gets so excited to teach. When you says one thing that he is looking for, he says, ah. because you got the wrong answer. <laughs> He always gets angry when somebody interrupts his class while he is teaching. He always tells a certain student to leave, but we know it is an act of love when this happens. I'm going to even more Mr. miss Mr. Kraft answering the phone with hello instead of Mr. Kraft speaking. Miss Berry <laughs> is a talkative teacher. She always has to make sure she makes everything clear when she's talking. We always do this little thing when she's talking. We try to ask as many questions as we can so it can take up time for us to go. <laughs> I love when Ms. Berry tells us about her lifetime story. It's like a nighttime story. Not saying it's boring or anything. Thank you. I love all my teachers for teaching me this eighth grade year. Thanks, Ms. Dixon, for being our principal this year. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't do what we did this eighth grade year. Because, of course, we have to get your permission first. Thanks to you. Thank you, OCA parents and teachers, for listening to my speech. Hug me back. That's the very same. Yeah.